La Champions League reprend le 12 septembre. Vous allez adorer les offres Canal+. Unanimously, the MPC members, the MPC committee today, after having examined all the options, policy options, we decided that since inflation is not an immediate concern, we decided to reduce the repo rate by 50 basis points from 4% to 3.5%. We are striking some kind of a balance so that all economic sectors benefit from the cut. There are uncertainties regarding geopolitical developments, uncertainties associated with the Brexit negotiations. What we also know that worldwide there has been accommodative fiscal policies. What we also know that there is a pickup in inflation. On the domestic front, we have what we observe is that on the monetary sector, private sector credit that is generally associated with the performance of the economy, the rate of growth of private sector credit adjusted for the bonds, corporate, bonds issued by corporate bodies have expanded, private sector has expanded private sector credit by around 4.5% which is less than the nominal growth rate of GDP. So when you have something like uh, private sector credit growing at a lesser pace than the GDP growth rate, you don't need to be that concerned about inflation. Our foreign exchange reserves have been growing over nine months of imports. We have no problem regarding our external payment positions. The problem that we have is, as in the past, the current account deficit of the balance of payments. The current account deficit of the balance of payments is expected to register a deficit of 5.5% uh, of GDP in uh, 2017. What has happened? Why do we have this deficit? Because we have a decline in the performance of the, sugar, of the export sector. Whereas on the other side, on the import side, imports have been going up. When you have too much of forex coming in, the central bank has to sterilize, has to purchase the forex and the forex uh, for foreign exchange market. Because if we don't do that, the rupee can keep on appreciating. Since 2015, we have purchased on the forex market a total amount of $1.1 billion. And we have sterilized this a total amount of 74 billion rupees. So what uh, we agreed that there should be some kind of an action taken somewhere uh, such that we, re we curb capital inflows. If you have all the foreign exchange you need, you need your monetary sector doing very well, interest rate very low, inflation stable, you have monetary stability, you have financial stability, the preconditions for investment are there. Why investment is not picking up? I think the private sector should take advantage of the stability, prevailing monetary and financial stability to go ahead with it highly competitive world. Survival depends on how fast you are able to update your technology, reduce cost. 
Work harder. Work harder. Yes, I do agree with you. Productivity is a problem. We go but, for. But so the message to the savers: savings rate is around uh, one point seven five percent right now. Yes, I'll ask them to cut down on consumption. I've said it in the past. I've said it in the past. I don't say they don't have to eat. You've got to spend your money prudently.